G'day mateys, it is the Down Under Entrepreneur here and I am coming to you with another video from the beautiful Saijung, Taiwan. Uh, as you can see guys, we're about to head into Costco. Um, but uh, today uh, I wanted to talk to you about my uh, initial experience uh, with the, uh, the Shopee app. Um, shipped my first order today, so pumped about that, uh, and obviously the eBay slowdown. Uh, so apart from that, guys, before I get into it, um, you know, if you like the content that we're doing here on the channel, uh, you know, you're finding value in that, uh, and you'd love to support the channel um, in order to help us out and uh, obviously keep the channel going so that we can, uh, you know, uh, improve the content and, uh, you know, obviously all grow together. Uh, then smash that subscribe button and drop this video a like share it around with your friends and your family uh, so moving forward uh, obviously with the eBay slowdown guys uh, you know I'm still still jumping through hoops to try and increase my eBay limits um, I, I'm certain that if I can increase those limits um, you know, get more items listed. I would probably still be kicking over sales, but I haven't had a sale now for like probably at least a good week. Um, you know, I got a bunch of inventory. I got to sort of go through it, give it all a clean up, uh, photograph it. Uh, but you know, in the event, because technically my account is up for review tomorrow, I think it is, or maybe the next day. Um, so in the event that by default they increase my selling limits anyway, um, you know, I don't want to use up too many of my free listings. Uh, so I'm sort of holding off at the moment uh, it is what it is and um, but yeah as far as uh, you know the summer slowdown as everybody's calling it um, apparently it's, it, it happens every year uh, you know some people slow down some people don't it really depends on what you're selling um, you know I suppose things that you can do is try to think seasonal guys um, you know uh, a good example would be uh, selling pool noodles in summer, you know what I mean? Like, because people are going to go to the beach, they're, they're going to be outdoors, they're going to be swimming, all that stuff, because it's hot. Um, you know, I think America, I think I, I, heard, I read just recently in the news that uh, America was bracing for like a, a massive heat wave or something this week. So, do you know what I mean? Like, everybody's going to be going to the beach. Everybody's going to be, you know, so sell snorkeling equipment, um, beach equipment, pool equipment, you know, that sort of stuff. If you can do it, you can get it cheap enough. It's light. It's, it's not too big and bulky. And it's relatively cheap to ship. Then have a look at selling stuff like that, guys, because um, it's seasonal. Um, obviously, when you do your listings, like there was some guy in one of the eBay chat groups, um, you know, and he was talking about, Oh, you know, I'm not getting any sales and blah, 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 and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I was kind of like, well, what, what are you trying to sell, man? And he's basically gone, I'm selling leather jackets. And it's like, it's like 100 degrees Celsius outside. Like, who wants to buy a thick, heavy leather jacket, you know, regardless of whether you're the cheapest or not? Um, like, you've got to be realistic about it, guys. Um, you know, if you're... You're not selling um, stuff like seasonal, like a leather jacket, absolutely, like I would understand, but I mean, you gotta think about it. If you do a listing, guys, and you say selling a leather jacket, just remember that if it's somewhere where you are, there's a good chance that it's winter somewhere else. So when you do your listings, um, create an exclusion zone, uh, you know, exclusion countries. Um, so maybe during summer in North America, you want to exclude everything in the Northern Hemisphere and only include countries in the Southern Hemisphere that where your product will be promoted to. Um, you know, there's something you can look into. Yes, it's a little bit more work, but hey, I mean, if, if we're going to be lazy with our listings, then don't complain when we're not getting sales, right? Um, but the other thing as well we've got to keep in mind is obviously it is um, summer holidays at the moment, guys. Um, you know, we're uh, obviously getting... Uh, a lot of people are probably going to be getting ready for the new... Um, the new school term very very soon um, or you, you, new school year um, I know in Australia I'm pretty sure they probably uh, from memory it's been a while since I've been to school but from memory I'm pretty sure they've just uh, finished their June July holidays uh, so most families and normally in around the middle of the year uh, you know most families um, get rates and all that sort of stuff but you know it is what it is um, but 
apart from that, guys, like that's that's like just a few tips and pointers that you can look at. Um, you know, if you're like not getting any sales, um, you know, I'm not, but at the minute, like I'm I'm really pushing to sort of. Um, you know increase my selling limits that's my main focus at the moment i'm not too worried about the sales i really need to get my selling limits up but it is what it is i'll keep you guys updated on how that goes or those and the process um you know that i have to do and and how that works for me um but the other thing i want to talk about guys is the shoppy app oh my god like it's it's literally allowing people to sell customer to customer customer to business business to business business to customer um for virtually free um like i just sold um two sets of um faber castle coloring in pencils to a, a single customer um you know negotiated a little bit on the price gave them a better deal i was super happy about it um they wanted a shipping option which i didn't originally have selected so literally i went through the painstaking uh, task of jumping backwards and forwards taking screenshots sending it to my wife like can you please translate for this uh, which one of these should I select uh, in order to activate that shipping option uh, and then this morning I've had to ship it but like the good thing is is like yeah it's a little bit out of the way but it was technically on my on, on my normal sort of daily route um, heading into the city here so hey that was fine like, you know, maybe like a 5 to 10 minute detour but this this app is amazing like uh, I think I was talking about it yesterday guys uh, 1.5% seller fees uh, once you've sold like 10,000 or 100,000 um, worth of product then the app actually pays you a commission of like 0.05% or 0.5% or something like that it's like half a percent um, so t- effectively if you're like you know really aggressive and you're like constantly doing it and you're like constantly listing um, you know, and I'd say it's the same thing as, um, you know, Shopee, uh, sorry, as, as eBay. Like, if you've got a thousand, a thousand items listed, then I would say that, like, you know, you, you have to at least get a hit on something. Like, literally, you have to get a hit on something. Um, so, definitely check it out. It's only in seven countries. I think it's like Taiwan, Philippines, um, Malaysia, Singapore, maybe Vietnam, Cambodia, places like that. Um, so just check it out obviously if you're in any southeast or like um, east asian countries guys uh, and you are looking to hustle and make a little bit of extra side cash uh, and do it online um, you know check it out shoppy app it's s-h-o-p-e-e um, so I sent my first order this morning like super 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 easy um, so basically you, you go and it's all done via an app there's no online site or anything for it uh, at least in Taiwan I don't know about the other countries um, but basically what you do is you go into um, you know the, the convenience store or the you know shipping method uh, that the customers ask for um, basically you um, go into your phone it generates like a, a tracking number for you uh, then you go into it's like a little um, self-serve kiosk machine uh, you go into like the the shoppy shipping um, tab uh, you punch in the tracking number that was just generated for you it literally generates and spits out a shipping label uh, and because depending on what your um, what you set it to what your shipping options are set to mine is the buyer pays the shipping um, the same as what I do with eBay uh, but they, you know, obviously you can set it to you pay the shipping uh, if you want to. You know, it depends on what you want to do. Um, you know, I suppose maybe free shipping will generate like uh, more customers. But then you just obviously include that into the uh, the price of your um, uh, you know of your goods. But um, yeah, basically, literally, literally, it just prints it out. You put it in like a little shipping sleeve. You take that and you pass it up to the county. You give it to the clerk. The clerk sc- uh, scans it. They hand you a goods received docket, and then you just walk out. You don't have to pay. You don't have to do anything. You literally just leave the parcel and walk out. Like it is awesome. Um, so if you are in a Southeast Asian or Asian country, um, you know if you're. Uh, like my, like myself, if you're on, um, you know, doing eBay or, or a, like a, a night market hustle or something like that, and you just want to make a little bit of extra pocket change on the side, something that's potentially scalable. Shopee, S H O P E E, guys, check it out. Obviously, keep an eye on this one, guys. Uh, like seven countries, 50 million users. Like, 
it's growing it's going to be a powerhouse um it's also backed by like a massive major international um, online shopping um corporation um so keep an eye out for these guys if they start expanding um you know like definitely definitely check them out guys um really they're a really really aggressive company um at the moment I'm super impressed uh, I'll let you guys know how the rest of the process goes obviously as long as the customer gets it and uh, fingers crossed they leave me some good feedback uh, but apart from that guys uh, I gotta get into our good old Costco uh, so I'm gonna end the video here uh, if again you know if you guys found this informative and helpful uh, then please support the channel smash that subscribe button drop this video a like and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're all having a good time. Hustle hard. Catch you in the next video.